buyers should compensate their own agents. This is something that really has been amplified by the plaintiff's attorneys in the Sitzer Burnett case. The seller is paying their agent from the sale of their home and there will be money available to compensate their agent. The buyer isn't really in that situation. The buyer is actually in the opposite situation. The buyer doesn't get a check at closing. They get a home and they get keys, but otherwise they're parting with money. Usually they're parting with all of their money to make the argument that, well, it's only fair that buyers pay their agents and sellers pay their agents, and that's a, that's a just and equitable system. It, it, it might be, but the problem is that it sits upon mythology in terms of real estate. Real estate just doesn't happen that way. So there really, there's no real way for a buyer to compensate their agent in that universe other than borrowing the money from 